Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Erin and today we're playing The Walking Dead. So excited to be playing this game again, although I am recording this pretty much right after the last episode because I couldn't wait anymore. Let's not waste more time. Let's get into the recap of what happened last time. And I don't know if I like my hair like this, if I'm sticking with the pigtails. I don't know. So last episode, we were on episode one of this game where we left the pharmacy to go save Glenn because he was in a sticky situation. So Lee and Carly went together to go save him at this motel area. He had gotten surrounded by walkers and thankfully he managed to escape safely, but he told us that he needed help trying to save this girl in the motel. This part was definitely the trickiest part so far. There, <laughs> It was very confusing trying to get to this girl and trying to avoid all these walkers. A lot of that's probably gonna get cut out, so the episode is definitely a lot shorter than I wanted it to be. We took out all the walkers as quietly as we could and we finally reached this girl, but it turned out that she had been bitten in like the torso area, so there really was no chance to save her. She asked for Carly's gun so she could just end it, and it was really, really sad. I didn't want to, but I ended up letting her take the gun so she could do it herself. Obviously a very, very heavy decision to make, but from my perspective, I kind of saw it as the only real option here because either we take her back with us and she's then a danger to Clem and Duck and Kenny's family, you know, or we could just let her do it and she could have a peaceful way out, as peaceful as it you can get, I guess. I hope it didn't seem like I was being too heartless there, but like I said, we. We didn't really have that many options here, but thankfully Lee stayed with her and kind of comforted her in her last moments before she ended it. Like I said, really sad, really hard decision to make, but I feel like it was probably the right decision. We got back to the pharmacy and everyone was pretty bummed out after what they saw, understandably so. We talked to Clem a little bit just to make sure she was okay, and then the second order of business was to get into that pharmacy and see what we could get for Larry, um, Lily's father, who I do not like, I do not like him, but with the help of Doug, we managed to distract some walkers and we were able to take the keys off of Lee's brother who had unfortunately turned. And it was a really somber moment with Lee and his brother and him sort of apologizing for never being there and trying to make peace and closure with his brother. Unfortunately, once we actually got into the pharmacy, the alarm rang and so that drew all of the walkers to the pharmacy and they were all trying to get in. We had to make the choice whether to save Carly or Doug and I chose Carly. Um, I don't know, again, if that was the right choice. That was sort of just a split second decision that I made. Well, not really because I ended up failing and both of them died and then I had to do it again, but we don't talk about that. We were making a very fast exit when Larry came out of nowhere and punched Lee in the face and tried to get him to stay there, which is so messed up because I literally saved this man's life over and over. I'm so sick of him. All he's doing is causing unnecessary tension and drama in this little group that we have and I'm sick of it. But at the same time, I kind of like his daughter. I think she's, she's pretty cool. Like I feel like she can be reasoned with more so than him at least. So maybe we can find a way to patch up this relationship, but I highly doubt it. Thankfully though, Kenny saved us because he is a real bro. Love Kenny. Thankfully, most of us managed to make it to the motel where Glenn heard over the car radio all of the chaos that was happening in Atlanta and he decided to separate from the group and make his way there, which I assume is where his story takes off in the comics slash show. I'm referencing the show more often than the comics because the show is what I know better, but I'm aware that this game is more so based off the comics than the show. Although I do plan on picking up the comics sometime just so I can understand things a little bit better. So I'm very interested to see what happens this episode. We are starting episode two and I, like I said, I cannot be more excited. So let's not waste more time. Let's get into this game and see what happens next. All right. Looks like we're on episode two. <laughs> you can already see Kenny trying to fight someone back there. I love him. He's probably trying to fight Larry. Um, honestly, don't blame him. I've never recorded an episode with pigtails. I don't think. This is like the first time I've ever done this, so I'm very self-conscious about how my hair looks right now. Anyway, we're starting. Cool. Oh, snap. I know who you are. Oh, I got another good one for you. 
See, I should just let this do the recap for me. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. You got it, boss. I like how Kenny kind of takes charge most of the time. It makes me feel a little better. <laughs> One of them is bitten. We reason with him. The bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Sorry, Doug. Really rubbing it in my face here. Oh my god. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens Ditto. to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, you watch your ass. <sighs> Need you remind me. Although this this does feel like a lot of the decisions I make have a very big like things would be so different like you'd be with different characters probably association of skybound entertainment don't know why I read that <laughs> you got a cool jacket now though I saw that three months later oh damn. He's a hardened zombie killer now. Walker killer. Hi. Damn it. What'd they get this time? Uh, looks like a rabbit. <sighs> oh. Well, that's another meal lost. <sighs> I still can't believe we went through all that commissary food in three months. It seemed like so much at the time. There's a Maybe lot of you. Shouldn't have opened the door. Yeah, except then I'd probably be food by now. Trust me, I have no regrets. Yeah, rabbit's hardly a meal, Mark, but I'd take it. Mark. We're all hungry. No kidding. When I accidentally grabbed for Carly's rations the other night, I thought she was going to take off my hand. We're all on edge. Just cut us some slack. Yeah, you're right. I wish I knew for sure how much food we have left. Have to ask Lily. Oh, she's in charge? We'll manage. Maybe. You know, some people aren't too happy about the way Lily's handling rations. Lily knows it's important to keep the adults fed and functioning. Sometimes that means someone's gotta miss a meal. You think Kenny's having any more luck than we are out here? I sure hope so. Yeah, between the lack of food and Kenny and Lily fighting all the time, things are getting pretty tense back at the motor inn. You know, Kenny's been talking about taking off if he can get that RV running. Can I go with him? He's better off without him. He's got a family to look out for. He's got a wife and son to look out for. And they're safest in a big group. Going out on his own will get them all killed. Can't blame him, though. Did you hear Larry going off on him last night? What's the old guy's deal, anyway? Seems like he's got a problem with you in particular. <sighs> hmm, wonder why. Um, he's just looking out for his daughter. He's a racist asshole. Uh, he thinks I'm a danger to the group and Clementine. I think he's the one putting us in danger. The way Lily worries about his health, I wouldn't be surprised if she's been skimming rations for him. And I know Probably. Lily thinks he's getting weaker, but the guy's all muscle. He's a walking pile driver. I know I wouldn't want to be stuck hmm. in a room with him. Yeah. And didn't he punch you in the face one time? Uh, knock me flat. Yeah. <sighs> that was my thought, is that he's probably racist. But he does have an issue with Kenny, too. Uh. Don't. Gunshot will bring walkers. One bird's not worth it. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm just really freaking hungry. Oh, damn it! Shit, I should have shot. Kenny? I don't know. Come on! Oh god. Huh. <laughs> Should have shot the bird, damn it. Oh man. Hello? Oh god. Oh, oh, damn. 
Jesus Christ. Who are these people? Oh, shit. No, no. Please don't kill us. We just want to help our teacher. We'll leave, I swear. Lee, you guys okay? Get it off. Get it off. God damn it. Get, oh, get man. It off. Travis, maybe they can help. These might be the same guys that raided our camp, and we barely got away from that. Oh, no. What guys? Why the fuck is there a bear trap out here? It's okay. It's a wood, so. We're not going to hurt you. Don't listen to them, Ben. Please, just let us go. We're not a threat. Well, can to we you. just try Be to help? We'll try to help you, but you gotta shut the fuck up. <laughs> Please, fucked up. You gotta help. Me. Please. Then shut up. My dad was special forces. I know what I'm doing. Dude, shut. Just see if you can get him out. After that, you can leave us or whatever. I don't care. Please. Okay, we'll try. We gotta get him out of there. Oh God, thank you. Fine, but you gotta hurry. I'm hurrying. Hurry, please, hurry. Oh man. Lee, Someone take off. the axe. There's no release light. What? You can't pry it open? Oh man. Walkers. It's now or never, Lee. Please, get me out of this. Mark, get the boys back. Damn Let's it. try Keep it. those walkers off of me. There's got to be something we can do. Please. Get me out of this. Please. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. Like this. God. Does this work? Oh god. Please save him. Hurry. <laughs> Forget it. Please get like at the Air Force base to lift orders. You're not coming oh, there. Okay, 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 okay. Try to get the chain. Oh my god. Are we going to cut so his leg bad. off? Stop, stop, stop. Why is this happening to let's us? Let's go. Let's go. Oh man. No, 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 no. Stop. Okay, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but I'm, someone apply a tourniquet or something. Oh, man, sorry, dude. Oh, God. Uh, I don't want to look at that. That's <laughs> so gross. But no, 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 no! Come on, let me finish. Let me finish. Come on, come on, come on! One more. Oh my God. Okay. Okay, come on. We gotta apply a tourniquet or something. Yeah, exactly. Come on. Oh, damn. Sorry about your teacher. You. Travis! <gasps> oh no! Come on, come on, we gotta move! Dude, just run. What? Oh my god. <laughs> you didn't kind of deserve it. <laughs> Sorry. Oh man. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Man, that was the intro? Goodness gracious. Man. Okay, well, we got him free, so... It's not like amputations aren't a thing in this series. I wonder how long episode two is. Starve for help. How you doing there, jerk face? Aww. Ooh, Clem, look at her! Wow, I don't think I've ever seen her without the hat on. Hmm. I guess she's just looking out for her dad and they care about each other, but... Bro, your dad is an asshole. Clem, <laughs> you need to stop. Get the gates open! We've got wounded! Shit! What the hell are they doing? Come oh on, boy. Come on. Oh my god. 
What happened? Oh, what the hell? What's going on? Don't have time to explain. Lee, are you okay? Get him into the truck. I'll see what I can do. Cat, okay? can you fix him? Jesus, Ken. Lee. I, I don't know. Lee! What the hell? You can't just be bringing new people here. What are you thinking? Hey, you want to calm down for a fucking hey, minute? What? No, oh I my don't. god. Okay. I want to know why you thought bringing more mouths to feed was a good idea. He would have died if we left him. So what? We are not responsible for every struggling These survivor people. we come across. We have to focus on our group right here, right now. Well, hang I on. get it, though. We haven't even talked of. to these people yet. Maybe they can be helpful. Come on, Lily. These are people. People trying to survive just like us. We've got to stick together to survive. The only reason you're here is because you had food. Enough for all of us. Damn. But that food is almost gone. We've got maybe a week's worth left. And I don't suppose you guys are carrying any groceries, are you? Um, no. Fine, you guys fight it out then. <laughs> Welcome to the family, kid. Come over here and see what I drew. But what? No, I... Just come on, okay? You know, you like to think you're the leader Aww. of this little group, but we can make our own goddamn decisions. This isn't your own personal dictatorship. Oh, come on, you're being dramatic. Everything always turns into a power struggle between you two. I'm not going to be a part of that. Hey, I didn't ask to lead this group. Everyone was happy well, to have me not. distributing the food when there was enough to go around. But now that it's running out, suddenly I'm a goddamn Nazi. Kenny's right. Yeah, you're in charge of the food and the schedules, but you're not in charge <laughs> of people's lives. I don't care. I'm really? siding with him. <laughs> you weren't there. <laughs> Lee made a choice. End of story. Once Katja patches that guy up, you can kick him out of here. Send him out on their own. I couldn't care less. But they at least deserve a fighting chance against the walkers. That's right. And for the record, Kenny wanted to leave those people behind. If Kenny would pull his head out of his ass for five seconds, he'd realize that I make these decisions to protect his family. We simply don't have enough food. I don't see any of you Some stepping up to make growl. the hard decisions. My girl's got more balls than all of you combined. Dad, please. Why don't you go help Mark with the wall? I'm so sick of this guy. You know what? <sighs> if you think I'm doing such a shitty job, then you do it. That's all the food we have for today. You decide who gets to eat. Hey. No, I'm serious. Pick up that food and start handing it out. You see how it feels to not have enough food for everyone. Okay, I feel kind of bad. I shouldn't make- I shouldn't side with people. Four food items for ten hungry people. Ugh. Okay, well, obviously, Clem is first choice for me here. I- oh my god, I love those little snacks, though. They're yummy. Is he gonna be okay? I don't know. Can you give me a hand real quick? Sure. What do you need? Just apply some pressure here while I try to close this up. You know, I thought I was starting to get used to this, sewing up people's injuries. But I mean, cuts and bruises are one thing, but Lee, this man has no leg. It's what your husband wanted. <sighs> Figures. I love that man to death, but I swear sometimes he's dumber than a bag of hammers. Well, <laughs> you've done all you can, Lee. Thanks for the help. Go ahead and check in on the others. I need a little space here anyway. Okay. Guess she's not on the list to feed people. Oh man. How you doing, Clementine? Okay. Where's your hat? I don't know. Can you help me find it? Do you really need it? Sure. Yeah. When did you lose it? I had it a couple days ago. I promise. If I find it, I'll let you know. Thank you. Okay, Clem. I've got to take care of some things. Why don't you go back to playing with Duck for a while? Okay. I need to feed you, though. Would you like some food? Here, Clem. You need something to eat. 
Uh. I love apples. Thank you. Oh. Are there more? No, honey. That was the last one. Oh. Um. Enjoy it. You deserve it. Okay. <sighs> what if I just gave her all of the food? <laughs> hey, bro. Hey, is my friend gonna make it? I don't know, but Kaja will do her best. I promise. I can't believe you chopped off his leg. There was no other way. Gotta do what you gotta do. Who are you? So who are you people? Our group's gonna want to know. I'm Ben. Ben Paul. The man you saved is Mr. Parker, the band director at my school. We all came down from Stone Mountain for the playoffs when... when everything happened. How you holding up, kid? Uh, well, I, um... Uh, I keep wondering if I could have done something to help, you know? Some kind of... I don't know... something. Uh... I'm sure you did all you could. Yeah, maybe. Relax. We'll get your friend back to normal in no time. I sure hope so. Okay. Maybe we should give Duck some food. How you doing, Duck? I'm okay. Me and Clementine are coloring. Guess what it is? I don't know. A dog? It's a cat. No. Nope. Tiger? Oh, I know. It's a goat, right? No. <laughs> can I guess? You were pretty brave when we brought those people in here. That's because I know Mom can fix him. Let's give him food. Hey, Doc. How about a little food? <laughs> Here. Yeah! Oh, man, I'm so hungry! And his family appreciate it. Okay, good. Hey, Clem. Can I guess what it is? How you doing, Clementine? Everything all right? Yeah. Is that man going to be okay? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure. I hope he will. Yeah. That thing doesn't work anymore, does it? So no, from her parents. Not since it broke at the drugstore. Just gonna hold on to it then? Yeah, if that's okay. I, um, I need it. It's okay, hon. You said you didn't think they would find us. Well, yeah, but that's just because... But we can try to find them. Look, uh, Clementine. I'm not stupid, Lee. I know it's just pretend, but it makes me feel better. Aww. Okay, you take good care of it then. I will. She's You'll be so okay sweet. over here? Uh-huh, I'll I be feel okay. so bad. <sighs> Man, okay. Lily has me handing out the food. Ugh, that can't be an easy job. It's not. I won't be able to feed everyone. What should I do? Well, if you wanted to get in good with Lily, I'd make sure Larry gets some food, even though that guy can be a real dick sometimes. On the other hand, giving that food to Kenny and his family might make him remember you, if he decides to take off in that RV one day. What about you? You need food, too. We all need food. I can't tell you what to do, but whatever happens, I know you'll be trying to do the right thing. Thanks, <sighs> Connie. Sleeping any better? No. I know we should be grateful for beds, but no, I'm not. Understandable. Yeah. Well. Back in a bit. I'm sorry, but I can't. I can't feed her because I want to give it to Kenny. Maybe I'll give it to Kenny and Larry just so I can get in better with Lily here. Hold on. Keep an eye out. Fine. Okay, I'll talk to them in a second, but I... He's the last person I want to give food to, but... I think I'll give it to Larry. It keeps so the that Lily out. doesn't hate me Curly's as much. Doing the bulk of the lookout duty. And she has been... She's been trying to lead, even though I don't like how she's doing Will it. Will you hold the damn board steady? I'm trying. I, I didn't realize I was getting this weak already. What do you want? A handout? Oh, I got 60 cents in my pocket. If you'll shut up and quit being such a pansy. Bitch. Oh my god, I hate him so much. But for some reason, uh. I guess I'll give him the food. 
Here, Larry. God, I hate him so much. Lily would want you to keep your strength up. That girl needs to quit worrying about me so much. A tough choice. Yes, I did. I'm sorry. Oh, man. Just seeing the food is driving me I'm crazy. I'm sorry. I know. I listen. Need any help with the wall? I'm sorry. Nope. Actually, we could use your axe. You mind if we take it? Yeah, give us that thing for a bit. Okay. Ugh, I gave him food. I can... Here, Mark, this should help. Thanks. Hey, I'm the one doing all the work over here. I gave you, you food. Think to give me the axe? Shut up. Come on, Larry, give it a rest. I'm sure Lee is getting pretty sick of you thinking he's a danger to the group. For real. Is that what you told him? Yeah, that's right. And what are you going to do about it? Look, I don't care what it is, but you two have got to start trying to get along. The only thing I have to do is protect my daughter. <laughs> right now, that means getting this damn wall fixed. So I would appreciate it if you two would shut up and let me get back to work. <laughs> that look. God. I should have given the food to Mark, but... Mm. Uh, some of these people have gone longer than me without food. They're the ones that need it. I'll come back to... What are they doing with the axe? <laughs> okay. Maybe he's trying to nail on something. I don't know. I gotta find Clem's hat, though. At least the kids have something to keep them occupied. I kind of want to give the food to Kenny. Hi. I gave the food to your stupid, stupid dad. Maybe we should think about leaving the motel. God, not you too. I know Kenny wants to leave. I think that's why he's so eager to get the RV working. But this is a good spot. We're protected. We're close to the drugstore. We have a routine now and it's working. For now. We should talk about you and Kenny. What about us? They're arguing. It's getting pretty out of hand. You know people notice that. Look, I'm working my ass off to make sure we have a good setup here, and Kenny just doesn't appreciate that. All we need is food. But there is no food. You know that better than anyone. Well, we'll just have to find some. Keep an eye out. Fine. Okay. <sighs> okay. Hey, man. Word's getting out that you want to leave the motor in. That ain't no secret, Lee. It's probably our best bet. Look, you've been good to me and my family. You saved Duck from those monsters, and you stood up to Larry at the drugstore. I won't forget that. You and Clem are welcome to come with us. <sighs> it does sound like a smart idea. Like, I'm not gonna lie. The coast does sound like a smart idea. Maybe that is the best thing. I know that it is. I'm taking my family. Wait, wait. I meant that we would come. That that we would come with him, though. I didn't want. I. I don't want him to go like without us. <sighs> I got to find the bear trap. Thanks for buying me time to get that guy out of the bear trap back there. I can't believe you cut off his leg. I don't know if I could have done it. Yeah. Didn't have a choice. Pretty gnarly, right? What's that or the walkers? Lily has a point about these new people being extra mouths to feed. I know, but maybe the problem isn't that there isn't any food. There just isn't any here. We gotta think about moving on. Want something to eat? He doesn't seem that happy about it. Here, Kenny. Take this. How about my boy? He eat yet? Yeah, I gave him something. Sure, then hand it over. I'm starved. Thanks. Others notice you fed Kenny. I don't care. He's my bestie. <laughs> I fed your stupid dad, girl. Not such an easy job, is it? No, it's not. I'm sorry. That's okay. I know you're still watching out for me. Okay. I'm making up to these people. I don't know how you have the strength to do this every day. I don't have a choice. Hey, thanks for looking out for me and my family. 
I'm serious about that offer to come with us. You've more than earned a ride on the RV with me. Still, I guess some people aren't going to be happy with your choices. Probably not. <laughs> what was that look for me? Ken! Lee! Come here, please. Um. He didn't make it, did he? He lost too much blood. Oh, no. God damn it. I'm getting sick of this shit. Ken, come back. There's nothing... Let him go, Katja. What? He just needs time. It's been a rough morning. Yeah, it has that been. man you brought, I tried, but he was never going to survive. Well, at least he's not our problem anymore. <laughs> Ouch. What about the other kid? Oh. Uh... Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, no! Oh, no! No, 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 no! No, 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 no! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! Oh, my God! No, 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 no! Jeez. Oh man, come on, dude. You had one job. Come on. Oh no, no. Get back. Get back. Get back. Oh, okay, okay. I'm leaving. I'm heading out. <laughs> See ya. Oh god. <sighs> you okay? Yeah, thanks. Oh, what, you're angry at me for no reason again? Why'd you bring him here in the first place, asshole? Dad, calm down. You're gonna get us all killed! I hate Why didn't him you tell so us much. He was bitten? What? He was bitten, and you didn't say a goddamn word! He wasn't, but he though. wasn't bitten, I swear! Oh, they Your don't know. My friend here came back to life and tried to kill my wife! What? Wait, you all don't know? Everyone what the hell are you talking about? It's not the bite that does it. You come back no matter how you die. If you don't destroy the brain, that's just what happens. It's gonna happen to all of us. We're all infected? Everyone? I... I guess so. I don't know, I... All I know is that I've seen people turn who I know were never bitten. When I first saw it happen, we were all hiding out in a gym and everybody thought we were finally safe. But one of the girls, Jenny Pitcher, I think, I guess she couldn't take it. She took some pills. A lot of them. Damn. Someone went in the girls' room the next morning and... God. Back off! Oh, shit. Whoa, lady, relax. Me and my brother, we we just want to know if y'all can help us out. I said back off, Harley. Uh. We don't want any trouble. Of course, uh, n neither do we. Uh, I'm Andy St. John. This here's my brother Dan. We're just out looking for gasoline. Looks like you folks got the motel locked down, which, which is fine, but uh, if you could spare any gas, well, we'd be much obliged. Why do you need gas? Uh... Our place is protected by an electric fence. Generators provide the electricity. Our generators run on gas. Look, uh, we own a dairy farm a few miles up the road. If y'all be willing to lower your guns, we, we can talk about some kind of trade. How y'all doing on food? We got plenty at the dairy. Seems like the Lee, right choice. Why don't you and Mark check the place out? See if it's legit. I'm going with you. I got your back if anything seems fishy. So, uh, what are y'all thinking? You've got a deal. We'll bring some gas to your dairy. In exchange, you give us some food to bring back. We'll see how it goes from there. Sounds fair. A couple gallons should power one of our generators for a while. I don't trust them. But they need food, so... So... This dairy. <sighs> you guys really have food? Sure do. We lost most of the cattle, but we still have lots of milk, butter, and cheese stocked up. And with the vegetables we grow, we got Why plenty of food. Why is the kid with us? It's nice to get away from that motel for a while. This Lily Kenny thing is starting to get ridiculous. Personally, yeah. I'd be happier if you started to take charge more. You think they'd want me for it later? 
Sure, everybody looks up to you. Well, not everyone <laughs> thinks I'm so trustworthy. Because of your past. Does anyone else know? Uh... Larry knows. Great, that can't be easy. Clementine might know. He was there when we were talking in the drugstore. And asked me about it. I lied to her, but... What exactly did happen with the senator? It's an accident. It was an accident. I mean, I, I pretty much knew about the affair. Sometimes I wonder if I should talk to the group about it. You don't have to. Whatever happened before things went to hell doesn't matter anymore. Not sure everyone would see it that way. Maybe you're right. Listen, mm -hmm. over the years I've reported on some pretty messed up shit. I've seen situations like yours a hundred times. It doesn't have to make you a bad man. I, uh, I really appreciate that. I mean, thank God Lee showed up when he did. I don't trust right, these two guys. Yeah. Uh, Why don't you tell us a little more about yourself, Lee? Where are you from? Uh. I grew up in Macon. Right here in the heart of Georgia. That's what I like to hear. Y'all seem pretty settled in at that motor inn. Uh, who's running things over there? Uh. We work as a group. All of us looking out for each other. <laughs> I hear that. There's so many dumbasses out there fighting each other these days. It's just stupid. I don't know how, how truthful you got we should over there be anyway. with them. Uh. Enough to defend ourselves. Well, that's good. It's getting dangerous out there. Well, you guys know. Well, we'd love to get you all out to the dairy. Like I said, we got plenty of food, and quite frankly, we could always use an extra helping hand. In the summers, I used to help out on a goat farm. Yeah, that's great. Everything helps. These guys are scary Mom's looking. I've been running the dairy for well, as long as I can remember, but wonder if these guys are the bandits. You're going to cut me out of this? Shit, get down. No what? one's trying to cut you out of anything. Okay, maybe you not. Carry, you're always pulling this shit. Bandits. Okay, these oh, are the bandits. <laughs> those look like the people who oh, raided my camp. Are they? Shh. Fuck you. Fuck you knew we were hungry, and are. you guys were keeping it all to yourself. Oh no, there's Yeah, and you know what? We ate it all. What are you gonna fucking do about it? Don't worry, Danny and I got you covered if something happens, but let's just wait this out. And hope they move on. Good idea. Fuck you! Oh my god. Oh damn. Fuck you! Fuck you! Oh my you. god. Jesus. You're wasting so much ammo and making so much noise. You jackass. Down here is going to shit. Come on. Let's get to the dairy where it's safe. Okay. Jeez, man. Shit. I just remembered I didn't find Clem's hat. I'm sad now. I ran out of time. I meant to talk to more of them, but I didn't get around to it. Honestly, I'm not that bummed I didn't talk to Larry, though. Just saying. I hope these guys are trustworthy-ish. St. John, family day. Oh, this is the thing for the menu. Y'all can see how we kept this place so safe. The fence keeps them out? <laughs> you betcha. They fry like bugs in a zapper. We're pushing 4,000 volts through that thing with generators and amps. Wow. I'm going to assume that's a lot. Hi. Can't have the kids around a fence. Uh. Ever have any accidents? Ah. Uh. It's safer here than out there. This place looks untouched. You never know the rest of the world is in ruins. It's worth protecting. Hence all the juice. I thought I saw y'all with company coming down the drive. <laughs> Guys, this is our mama. I'm Brenda St. John, and welcome to the St. John Dairy. This here's Lee. He's from Macon. A couple of our old farmhands were from Macon. They grow them good there. They got a few more friends staying at the old motel. Oh my goodness, that place is pretty vulnerable. Have you got someone with survival I don't experience trust to them. your group? Uh... We work together. We all work together. Plus, we've got plenty of people with military experience. Well, that's good to hear. That motel ain't the safest place. Now that y'all are here, we'll make sure you're safe and comfortable. They look evil. Uh... 
Does that offer apply to the rest of us? We're all incredibly hungry. These are for y'all. Big fresh this morning. Amazing. Can't Let's have Larry like try them anymore. first. <laughs> Not without a cow for milk and butter, that's for sure. That's right. Hopefully Maybelle will make it through this bout of whatever she's got and be with us for a good long while. Your cow is sick? What's she? We have a vet. We could bring her here. We can help you folks out. A vet? Oh my! Herschel? Our prayers have been answered. Maybe our whole group could come for the day. Well, how about this? Y'all go get your veterinary friend and I'll prepare some dinner. A big feast for all you hungry souls. It'll be nice to have some folks to help out around here again. Danny, why don't you come help me out in the kitchen? Why don't they I scare head me. With the food and round up everyone for the trip over here? Might want to take someone with you. Remember, those roads can be dangerous. I can handle myself. Take this. Why don't you go ahead and take Ben along anyway? Take care of yourself, Lee. See you in a while. Oh boy. Be safe. I don't Mark, uh, Lee, I don't trust why don't you take a look around? Once you get settled in, I could use some help securing the perimeter. Is there a problem? Sometimes the dead get tangled up in the fence before they fry and end up knocking over a post. It'd be a big help if you could walk the perimeter. You can learn a little something about our fence. I'm gonna go top off the generators before they run dry. Come get me when you're ready. You betcha. This place is incredible. It's got food. And that fence? Oh man, that fence. If we play our cards right, this might turn out to be a place we can stay. So how do you want to play this? Uh, let's make sure that's safe. Before we can think about bringing our whole group here to stay, we need to figure out if this place is as safe as they're telling us. Right. Obviously, they think it's safe. But is it safe enough for the kids? I noticed a broken swing over there. Not a big deal, but maybe there's other things not working that we just can't see yet. Yeah, exactly. I'm checking the fence perimeter sounds like a decent way to get a good look at their defenses. I don't trust these people. Right. I'll keep my eyes open, and you find out what you can from Anne. It's like too good to be true. I don't know. I want to be as vague as possible, maybe. But I I said where he was from just because I feel like it probably doesn't matter too much. Sorry for shifting around so much this episode. My back is hurting, so <laughs> here we are. What happened to the swing? I want to, like, thoroughly check this place before we bring the now kids here. Clementine and Duck would have loved something like this to play on. Kids used to like that old swing even more than the tour sometimes. <laughs> I'll bet. How did it break? Got busted the first day those things showed up. Thank God no one was on it at the time. Looks like it just needs a new board for the seat and some rope. Make it safe for Clem and Duck. And let the St. John's know we can pull our weight around here. <laughs> By fixing a swing? I mean, sure. I'm gonna need some rope. And there's got to be a board around here I can use as a seat. Okay, good to know. I've been on a swing before when it broke. <laughs> that was not very fun. Okay, this is how I... Okay. I was wondering how I walk faster. Here we go. Let's not go inside just yet. Hmm. Pointy. <laughs> hmm. Pointy. Here we go. This is too big right now, but if I can find something to cut it down to size, this might make a good seat for the swing. Let's do that. Hmm. Mind if I use one of these boards? Already making some repairs, huh? I like a guy who takes some initiative. Yeah, go right ahead. I hope they're not bad people. We'll see. Alright, now I gotta find some- <laughs> Let me just put that in my back pocket. Um, now we gotta find some rope. Looks like the fence runs around the entire property, not just the house. Hmm. That's really nice. Yep. Can't take any chances when it comes to safety. I've also electrocuted myself on a on a <laughs> electric fence before. That also wasn't very fun. Really hurt, actually. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? Um, no one fucks with us. We've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? 
We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. For now. We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. The survivor, uh, other survivors that stay at the farm, okay. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. <laughs> uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman, he figured out how to amp it up with the generators. He used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. Damn. These <laughs> generators are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots. And we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. You know, like us. I'm gonna get to know the place for a minute. Okay, well, we gotta secure the perimeter, so don't take too long. I will take as much time as I want. I do want to look around a lot more. Hey, Mark. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? Fence is no joke. The fence is no joke, at least around the house. I'm looking forward to seeing the rest of it. Now keep looking around. All right, keep me posted. Will do. Um, I still need the ropes. I don't know if I can do anything with this yet. The board is good, but I need some rope. Okay, I can't leave. Okay. Guess I can't leave yet. Let's go inside the house. Excuse me, ma'am. Do you have any rope? <laughs> I like her little flower mm, garden here. Fresh herbs. I can hardly wait for dinner. I'd love to grow my own herbs. That'd be nice. Although, unfortunately, every time I have a plant, it dies This dairy won a lot of ribbons in its day, huh? This place was my daddy's life. It meant everything to him. You know, when he first bought this place, it was a single-story house. Is that right? After us kids was born, he insisted on adding a second floor. He said they had to have room for as many babies as they could have. <laughs> Mama, she was done after damn. My folks stopped after two as well. Then one day, the world changed. Now this place is all we have left of daddy. That's why we take such good care of it, and why we want to share it with good folks like yourselves. I trust him more than the other people here, but I still find it really fishy. I don't know. I'd be very cautious in the apocalypse. <laughs> Open shoe bucket. Hey, some rope. Hell yeah. This rope is perfect for the swing. Nice. I feel like some people might be confused as to how I electrocuted myself on an electric fence. It's because I was at my friend's house and she has a barn and horses and stuff. And so I was feeding the horse through the electric fence for some reason. And I like dropped it by accident. And so I like pulled back and I hit the fence and I touched the horse at the same time. And we both got electrocuted and shot back. I felt really bad and the horse never trusted me again after that. I felt awful. So <laughs> that's the story about that. Can I come in? Well, hi there, Lee. What can I do for you, sweetie? Can I help you with anything <laughs> around the house? I think with Danny's help, I've got things pretty well squared away in the kitchen. But feel free to check with Andy. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders these days, so I'm sure he'd love any help he can get. Okay. How many rooms does this house have? Rooms? Why do you ask? Oh. It looks custom built. Nice of you to notice. My husband put a lot of work into this old house. Well, he did a fantastic job. I believe in making a house a home. <laughs> I don't know if this is rude or not, but... Be ready? It'd be a while still, but it'd be worth it. Trust me. Uh... How's your family been holding up since, uh, you know? All my boys have been my saving grace. They both left their jobs and came home to help out after the attack started happening. I think it was hardest on Andy. 
Dan was always more of a mama's boy. But don't tell him I said that. <laughs> I the won't. Family's done an amazing job of keeping this place up. Well, now aren't you sweet? Thank you, Lou. The boys and I have tried to adapt as best we can, but we still keep some of our old routines to help remind us of better times. Fair enough. What happened to your staff? What happened to the rest of your staff? Oh, we've had our share of tragedy here. Just like everyone else, I'm sure. Some of our staff took off to find their family as soon as they heard the news. The few that stuck around, well, we lost most of them the first night those things showed up here. It was oh, a tough night. Well, if anything comes up that I can help with, feel free to let me know. Well, Lee, I sure appreciate it. <laughs> no problem. No problem. Um, you know who she reminds me of? In Red Dead Redemption, there is a farm you can go to, um, and people who've played it know what I'm talking about, the second one. And, uh, you meet a couple there, and they are very welcoming at first, but they turn out to be quite the interesting evil people. So, she reminds me of the, of right. the woman there. This shouldn't be too tough. Which is why I'm nervous, I think. I be damned. Mama's gonna be thrilled to see that old swing all fixed up. Hopefully our kids will like it too. Did you say something, darling? Oh my goodness. Did you do that? Just trying to help out a bit around here. You know, I used to push Andy and his brother out here on that swing every night when they were kids. Seems like such a long time ago now. Yeah, it does. Yeah. All fixed. That should make everyone happy. Nice. I hope Clem can go on it. That'd be really cute. Alright. Now. Let's fix the perimeter. I think they have a better chance here than anywhere else. Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but... It's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. Well, that'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Okay. Stay attentive. You never know. To be honest, I don't know if I would leave the fence running, like, 24-7. That's going to waste so much gas, like... Wouldn't you want to do it maybe at night and just have people on guard along the fence in the daytime? That way you're using like half the gas. Cause that is a ginormous fence. Like, oh my god. So how's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. What's up with <laughs> yeah. You telling him what I said about him thinking I'm dangerous. Yeah, right. Well, you said Dude. It. you even admitted it right to him. This piece of shit. <laughs> I try to be civil at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. Yeah, he There's is. One. Oh damn! Someone shot him though. Daryl. <laughs> Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Uh. Andy said when this fence is working, the walkers go up like a tree branch on a power line. If hmm. those lights are out, that means the fence is off, right? It better be. Well, it didn't go through the head, it went through Maybe the, the neck. Saint John so... boys are using this guy for target practice? Is it really dead? Uh, poor guy. I don't know what got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, hope he was already dead. Can we take it? Disgusting. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? Fortress needs people to defend it. It's useless uh, gas. The fortress needs people to defend it. We've got enough people. 
So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. Uh, they're delaying the inevitable. You can take this place if we have to? Uh. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. Uh, it's kind of bending the fence a little too much there. Is it dead? Huh. Damn. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Maybe you fix the fence a little bit? Was Christ. It bending? I can't stop thinking about dinner. <laughs> Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. Sorry. We'll go ask for more to eat after. We'll go ask for more to eat after this is done. All right. I can suck it up. <laughs> Come on. I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage <laughs> from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> oh, God. I don't trust that these things are dead. Wait, I, I probably should have knocked him off first. Little help here, Lee? I'm trying. Oh god. Hey, fuck. What just whoa, happened? whoa, whoa. The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Oh, oh no! Oh my god. What the What the hell? What the hell is happening? Get down. You asshole, Jesus! Who is that? Now you're fucked! Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With a fence on that gate, it's our only way out. Shit. Maybe we can move the tractor? If only we had Duck out here. <laughs> he knows how to move tractors. Oh god, get down. Get down. Come on. Oh god. We now can we move it? Ah, uh, shit. Get get oh, 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 oh. I can do this all oh, come on. Day. If we can reach the gate, okay. we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah. The shit, that hurts. Oh, man. I got one of you. Oh, shit. Oh, I didn't realize I was moving. Okay. Oh, God. Careful, Mark. Oh man. Who are these? Are these the bandits? Oh god. What happened? Damn it. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to move it. Already got one of you. Show yourself. Come on, come on. Hurry up. Okay. Why did they turn on the fence? Did they already know they were out there? Oh, again. Another one? How many of those things did we push down? Again with the shit. <laughs> Come on. Oh, I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! Oh, shit. Come on. Your arrangement. Shit. Come on. Oh, man. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh man. Oh man. Oh no 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 no. Ah! Wait, what? Shit! Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, um I guess that's not what I was supposed to do. <laughs> Shit. You really think you can fuck with us? You really think you fuck with us? Okay. I had to do this again because I failed. Okay. I just didn't- I didn't want to get in front of it. Oh god! Again with this! Come on! Okay. There. Finally. I was- I, I couldn't go too fast or else I would be in front of the tractor and then I was too slow. Oh man. Maybe close the gate. Man. 
Maybe this isn't a super safe spot for everyone. Hey, uh, asshole. Thanks for Please, closing the gate. Uh, there was a goddamn ambush out there. Holy shit, are, are you okay? No. Here on our property? Oh my lord, what happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama? Yeah, I'll be all right once it's out. God damn it, hurts. Yeah, hey, maybe. Tra oh my mom, god, oh my god. Oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. You're Christ, all here. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just. Pull it out. Oh no, honey. Come on. Brenda's got you. Come on inside now. We'll have you all sorted out. Okay, I guess what? I have experience with this. What Damn. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the Yeah, I really miss you. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. What you do about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did oh. stop hassling us. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. Uh. Maybe it isn't as safe here as we thought. Look, we're sorry. We, we never had them screw with us like this. Not since we started giving them food. Listen, we may have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these <laughs> assholes scary. are? scary. They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. When you're ready to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. Oh shit. Bandits? Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? We got the fence, though. This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. Yeah, and they got food. I think food. all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna wow. head out and help the one Andy sensible thing he says to try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. Why would they want to? I mean. Do they have all their stuff there? I, well, hey, yeah, I kid, guess. Look what Lee got working for you. A swing. I love swings. Just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Thanks, Aww. Lee. You're the best. Yeah. How sweet. Can I push them? Oh, man. Okay. I would like to push you on the swing. Oh, how sweet! Hey, Clem, do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Thanks for fixing it. You're welcome. Will you push me on it? Yeah! Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck, let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. <laughs> Dang, the way he went off there. Oh, I was hoping we could do this. That's so sweet. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? <sighs> I'm not sure, Clem. I hope so. I hope so, too. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me, too, right? I won't let what happened to Mark happen to you. Promise? I promise. I promise. How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? You got lucky out there. Could have been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Ever since I Aww. met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. All right, Clem, that's enough for now. <laughs> okay, thanks for pushing I've oh, got her eyes, <laughs> oh course. god. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Duck, don't pop a gasket. <laughs> I'm sorry I didn't find your... hat. Oh god. 
Careful there, duck. You're about to take me out. Hey, hey brother. Haley, found anything interesting? I was talking to Andy a bit earlier. Doesn't sound like they have too many guns around. They rely mostly on the fence to keep them safe. So long as you're on this side, things are all right. Provided the fence holds out. Well, that's the problem. When there's no more gas, there's no more fence. That's true. Well, it's good to know what we're working with here. Keep looking around, and let me know if you find anything else. Hmm. I don't think he cares what Lily thinks, but I'll say I it. I guess, uh, Lily isn't too thrilled about being here. I could give two shits about what Lily yeah. wants. Duck and Katja need food, and I'm not about to sit around that motor inn and watch them go hungry. You're with me on this, right? Of course I am. Yeah, of course. Lily's judgment is clouded, but you got a pretty clear head about these things. Did Duck and Katja get here okay? No, it wasn't easy. Duck didn't look so good on the walk over to this place. Well, if everything works out, maybe he and Katja can have an easier life here. I hope you're right. Duck and Clementine deserve a better life than starving to death at some crappy motel. How you holding up? I hope they feed us, Lee. Soon. On the way over here, I was getting dizzy. Hands shaking, cold sweats. Thought I was gonna pass out. They've got food I gave you here. food, though. Yeah, but I'm not just talking about one meal, you know? I'm gonna go have a look around. Don't wait too long to help scope out that bandit camp. It'll be a good opportunity to find out a bit more about the St. John's and their relationship with those bandits or whatever. Right. I'll see what I can find out. <laughs> the way he's pushing him. This is so funny. Oh my god. I don't know. <laughs> oh my god. He is really going for it. This is so funny. I don't know why. Okay. I don't think I can talk to ducks, so I'll walk around a little more. <laughs> Do I really want to go talk to um, Lily and her dad? No. That thing keeps a fence electrified. <laughs> Thank you, Lee, for telling me. So when they said they were gonna get the veterinarian, who? Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Who besides Herschel is a vet? I don't remember. Uh, Hornfield. Nice. Having a crop like that on hand must be great. We're gonna need to learn how to maintain it if we end up staying here. I wanna have my own garden. That would be so nice. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in ships. Yeah. Lots of hay. Hmm. Enough of these might work as adequate cover for arrows, if that becomes a problem. Huh, okay, good to know. Oh, there they are. Okay, I thought they were in the barn. Didn't even see y'all. Hey, assholes. <laughs> I don't really mind Lily that much, it's just that her feud with Kenny is getting annoying. But Kenny's like my brother now, you know? Like, I, I gotta side with him. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Wish I knew. But I don't hate I think her. He's in good hands now. Her father's yeah? just an asshole. It's not too bad? That'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? Oh my god. How do you feel about leaving the motor in? She just made it's it clear. It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. It might have been worse, though. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. I don't think his dad, her dad's gonna like that. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. Hmm, <laughs> so he's an asshole. How do you put up? How do you put up with him? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. He's been through so much, and lost pretty much everything. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And that goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably gonna keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. 
Don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad, and I love him. <sighs> I... I get it. I still hate Larry, though. You think this was a good idea? Think our little arrangement with them was a good idea? A little late to be asking that now, don't you think? Dad's right. Let's just wait for dinner. And then if Mark is feeling up to it, we leave. I don't want to push our luck here. Now, now, let's not mm. be hasty. Maybe we should stay, though. I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything. But gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid, if you ask me. What other choice Wait, do they have, though? I know you and Kenny are friends, but you recognize that he's not the right person to lead this group, don't you? <sighs> I don't know, Lovey. Both you and Kenny have been very important in keeping the group together. Yeah, well, if I don't keep us alive, there won't be a group to keep together. All right, we can't talk to Larry. Maybe that's a good thing, honestly. <laughs> that's fine. I'll catch you guys later. Okay, I'm going to leave this episode off here. I think we're maybe a little less than halfway through the second episode. I'm very interested to see where it goes with these bandits. I, I hope we don't lose too many people, but honestly, I can see Mark maybe not making it, I feel like, since he's just been introduced. I don't know. Hey, you know what? I won't judge. Maybe he will stick around, but I'm just trying to think of the people that are maybe more expendable. As bad as that sounds. <laughs> it does sound really bad. I'm glad we're all here now, though. Um, I still don't know if I can really trust these people. My instincts say no, don't trust them, but... Hey, you know what? I'll give them the benefit of the doubt here. Maybe they are good people, um, but I I just tend to kind of be wary of people that are like super nice up front because sometimes it's like not a good thing. I don't know if they're hiding any more secrets here. Um, I guess we'll find out. I still think I will side with Kenny no matter what, but I do understand that they have very clashing personalities. They're very, they're both very stubborn and they just want what's best for their own family and not necessarily thinking of the group itself. Lily more so. She seems to be more like willing to keep the group together. I don't have anything against her really. I do find her father extremely annoying. I get he's lost a lot so I'm gonna try to be as reasonable with him as I can but there is a possibility he's just racist so <laughs> who knows. As much as I like Kenny I do find that he's probably causing the most conflict in this group. Like I said, they're both very stubborn, so I I find myself sticking by him more, but at the end of the day, I want to try to help the group as a whole, if I can, and try to calm everyone down and keep the conflict to a minimum here, because that's going to tear all of them apart. So yeah, hopefully I will pick this up very, very soon. I'm planning on recording for this again. Like I said, very soon. I'm really enjoying this series so far. I hope you guys are too. If you did, Leave a like or subscribe if you're new because I'd love to have you stick around and watch me play some video games and hang out with me. I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.